Hello YouTube, I'm Dr. Tactical and the doctor will see you now. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try my best to keep today's video kind of short. Uh, I've tried that in the past. It hasn't always worked out for me. Part of that, a large part of that, is because I tend not to use a script. I did try it once, uh, but for the most part, I don't use a script and I'm not using one today. And because of that, I tend to go off on tangents sometimes. So I'm going to try and really rein myself in and stay focused. Uh, before we get started, I would like to thank those of you who have subscribed to the channel. We are nearing our thousand subscriber mark. I am really excited about that. It really adds validity to the channel and it also helps me to be in a position where I can get more toys to share with you guys. Uh, so it's really, really appreciated. Those of you who haven't subscribed yet who are watching, I would really appreciate it if you did. And obviously there's no cost to you, uh, but it really does help the channel. Also, those of you with the commenting, that has been incredibly helpful. I have to say, I've learned a lot from several of you, many of you. Um, there are just some really, it's nice to see there's some really educated people out there who, you know, who want to share what they know. And it's really helpful when they do that on the channel. And, that, and there's people out there who have questions. And it's, and it's really nice to be able to sort of have a focal point for them to put the question out and other people who are watching the same video comment on and help them. So that's been great too. There's also some very uneducated people out there. There's some assholes out there. That's okay. Comment away. My feelings are intact. Um, anyway, uh, I welcome all comments and of course I appreciate all subscribers. Okay, so today we are going to discuss the uh, use of a laser mounted on a carry gun. Good idea? Bad idea? I'm going to start right out by telling you I have a strong opinion on this and I will share it at the very end. Um, and I'll tell you, just to keep you out of, the, you know, not suffering through suspense here, that I think it validates carrying a laser uh, on a handgun, the, the, the pro. But the, like I said, there are negatives and, you know, as well as pros. Okay, so let's talk about the laser. So we have here... This is my Glock 34. This is my first competition gun, a gun that I bought for competition. And it is a Glock 34 with a laser light combo mounted on it. Now, I'll tell you the truth. I did not buy this for, and this is not a defensive gun. I mean, it can be, but it's uh, the laser light combo was purchased really more for just waiting down the front end of the gun so that I could come back on target with follow-up shots. Um, however, I gained an appreciation for, for the laser. So let's talk about lasers, just the um, physical properties. So laser is culminated light. So light that all the wavelengths are staying focused in a column and they're going straight. Unlike the bullet, which is traveling out of the gun um, on a straight trajectory, but then as the velocity diminishes and as the weight of the bullet is uh, being grabbed by, or I should say the ma mass is being gra uh, grabbed by gravity, it starts to slope down. So, or arc down, if you will. So we've got two different things. We've got a laser moving in a straight line. Now the laser's light, it has no gravitational uh, effects. Yes, those of you who do know, uh, you know, we can talk about the weight of photons and the gravity effect on, on light on another video. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna assume that the light is traveling along on a straight line unimpeded. So what that means is, if we look at the diagram over here, we can see that the laser is um, going straight and it has to be tilted up a little bit to meet the, where the barrel is. So let's say we pick 15 yards as our um, the distance that we are sighting the laser in at. Well, everywhere before that 15 yard um, point, the laser is going to show up uh, lower than the point of impact of the bullet. Whereas once you get past the 15 yard point, the laser is going to go higher. So first of all, I should also say, like say first of all a lot, obviously this is maybe like third of all at this point. Anyway, what should be noted is the laser needs to be mounted below or above the barrel. It is not a good idea to do it on the side, to place it on the sides. And the reason for that is that the windage is uh, more important to stay on point with than the um, elevation. And the reason for that is if you keep your windage straight on, 
the laser can stay on point. Now, I'm taking actual wind out of the equation because clearly wind will not affect, well, the photons. I don't think it does. Uh, but it, So the light will, should not be affected by the, by the wind. There may be some minor, you know, some some draw on the... Uh, on the bullet, but that's that's not going to be on a defensive gun. So on a defensive gun, when you're in defensive distances, you know, 25 yards, which is in well in excess, although Eli Dickens may may say otherwise. Um, but for the most part, what we consider to be defensive distances, the bullet's going to be st traveling straight from a windage standpoint. Uh, so the laser we want traveling straight as well. Now. If the the elevation is off, the up and down, we have a spinal column here. If, if we're trying to stop a situation, we're being threatened, and we miss on the up and down axis, you know, the y axis, if you will, we're gonna we're gonna do some damage, and we're still gonna be in pretty good position. Whereas if you miss, you know, left and right, it's no pun intended, but it's more hit or miss. You know, you don't know what you're, you know, you you have. Um, less consistency. So I would always recommend mounting the laser on the top or the bottom, uh, above or below rather, the barrel. Okay, so just to keep in mind that the closer the target is that you're shooting, the closer than where you have it zeroed, the lower the dot is gonna appear from the laser and the further away the target is beyond the 15 uh, yard mark that you set it to, the higher the laser is going to be than the point of impact. And of course, at 15 yards, if you did a good job, it should be one and the same. Okay. So pros and cons of the laser. We got the basic physics out of the way. Why, why, why wouldn't you want a laser? You know, it helps make things easy. You can see what you're, you know, you're, what you're targeting. What is the downside to the laser? Well, one, if you notice right now, I don't know if, you, if my gun looks like it's shaking in my hand. It's very, very humbling when you're at the range using it because you will see that your hand shakes more than you thought it did. Uh, it's very, uh, very humbling is the best word. I'll go with that. So anyway, but the laser used in a defensive situation, while it does help bring you right to the point of where you're, where you're planning on shooting, it also draws everybody else's attention to it as well. And that can be a negative, especially if you're dealing with more than one uh, potential shooter uh, or threat, we'll say, because once that light is on, somebody knows you have a gun, somebody knows, it doesn't, I mean, sure, you could be just taking a laser pointer, but that would be a bad idea to do that at somebody who has a gun. Um, so once your, your light is on somebody, people around know what that means. Now, that could be a good thing, because that could very well mean to that person, you know, if they happen to notice, you know, if they see people looking, they look down and see the dot on them, they may you know, know the game's over because all you have to do is pull the trigger and they, and that could be the end of a situation and you could end the situation without actually firing a shot. And that's certainly how it works on TV a lot. However, it's also very possible it's going to draw attention right to where you are. And if there's other people, you know, who are not, who are not friendlies or hostiles, if you will, uh, you be, you've just made yourself a target. So that's a concern. Um, so just you know that's that's a that's actually a significant negative now but the positive is obvious i mean you're you're very quick on target with it it's easy to to get that out there and it sends us a pretty strong message that uh the, the game's over and in you know what in keeping with keeping this short i'm just going to get right to what i promised at the beginning which is the best reason the the the, the reason that i think most validates having a laser on the gun Let's go to, I'm, I'm just going to show you one other bad idea though first. <laughs> that wasn't, I didn't mean to do, do that. So I just for, looked down. So I forgot to show this out um, to you guys. This is a Viridian laser that's mounted on an LCP, Ruger LCP. This has been um, safety checked and cleared. So uh, there's no rounds and no magazine in this. I checked it before I put it out. So anyway, this is designed, the, the holster is really part of the system, part of the laser system here. So when I pull the gun out, the laser comes on automatically. So the laser is on instantly the second I pull it out. That's a problem because that takes away your choice. And now you're more limited in the scenarios in which you're gonna be uh, comfortable pulling out your gun because if you are in a situation um, where you where you wanna be a little more subtle or maybe you just wanna have the gun out quietly 
and you know just sort of aiming it at you know the the threat but you don't want to be known if the laser's already on you've taken away that that uh possibility so i'm not a fan of that I think it certainly are, are situations where it would be helpful, but there's also situations it could be dangerous. And for that reason, I think it's better to have a laser that you have the ability to turn on and off and make that decision rather than have it as an automatic setting. Just something to keep in mind. Um, okay, back to the number one reason. So, got my laser on here. Say, God forbid, you are in a movie theater situation or some type of situation where there is an active shooter. Um, and... You do not want, you know, to in, under normal circumstances, what you have to do is you've got to pull your gun if you're going to engage in this situation, and you've got to get your sights on the target or your red dot on the target, but, you, um, but you've got to get your head lined up behind the gun if, if there's any distance to it. Sure, if it's short, you can just sort of point and shoot. That's a non-issue. You wouldn't use the laser or anything for that. But if it's a, if it's a distance, you really, you know, especially with uh, with friendlies around, you don't want to cause a situation. So you really want to be responsible and take the time to make sure that the threat is what you're lined up on. So you have to poke your head up to in order to get the shot. If you have a laser on, you can duck behind your seat and you can just sort of take the laser and move it around. In case you haven't figured it out, I've got a mirror uh, behind the camera right now so I can uh, play with the laser a little bit anyway but by ducking and not putting your head directly behind the gun and having the laser you are giving away the location of the gun and sort of yourself but not not with your head behind the gun you're not drilling fire right to your head and that laser can be used to aim at the target uh, you know around some type of a obstacle you know, a safe cover or you know you can duck below it just so you can see what's happening and that really gives you a a uh, an ability that without the laser you wouldn't have so that is my reason that i think that it's probably a good idea to have a laser it's a very limited use i know for that but it's um it's valid i think it's i think that's a valid reason i look forward to hearing from you guys i look forward to hearing your comments i look forward to learning from you um and I look forward to those of you who haven't subscribed subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Dr. Tactical. Dr. Tactical, out.